Will you stay with me for this video? Don't ditch me. You look like you want to ditch me. Okay, before Barry leaves me, I have 11 parrot owner hacks that I cannot wait to share with you in this video. Hey, you stayed for the whole intro. Thanks, Barry. Do you wanna stay the rest of the video? Love you. Just gonna go with it. Don't ditch me, don't ditch me. Ah, <sighs> she ditched, it's fine. I knew it was coming. She'd rather be eating. Parrot owner life hack number one is having a mini vacuum. My mini vacuum I keep in my laundry room on a little charger, but this thing comes in so handy, especially picking up after my little budgie blueberry and all her tiny little molted feathers every single day. She makes quite the mess around her cage because I primarily use her cage for just feeding and any time that she just needs to be locked up for safety reasons, if we're cooking or there's something that she can't be a part of then she's in her cage. But otherwise, she's actually a cageless budgie, which is super cool and very, very fun to have around our house. This mini vacuum is fantastic for picking up all those tiny little feathers that you find around the house. My second parrot owner hack is my pressure washer. I discovered a whole new world when I got a pressure washer. Now when I use a regular hose, I think, what's wrong with this thing? Why isn't it working? <laughs> My pressure washer is something that I use to be able to clean all of my aviaries super duper well because they can get caked with pellet powder and poop and all sorts of things that these birds seem to produce that come out of nowhere. Overnight, my cages get really disgusting, so being able to take a pressure washer to them saves so much time for me. It's also such a safe way to clean all of my parrot cages since parrots are so sensitive to any sort of cleaning material beyond vinegar or F10. Hack number three is actually a barbecue scraper. I know it sounds kind of crazy and you can also use paint scrapers as well, but I ended up stealing my husband's barbecue scraper, which don't worry, he never got it back. And I use this to scrape the grates of all of our travel cages because we use big cages in our travel trailer for our birds. We try to make sure that they're really tall so that our birds' tails stay nice and clean when we're traveling. And this scraper allows me to really get to those hard to reach spots and get them as clean as possible. So I find it very handy. Number four. This is a combination of a lot of different things and having them handy, but I like using shop paper towels because they're very absorbent. Kleenex, unscented baby wipes. Oh my gosh, those are my go-to for cleaning off surfaces that need a little extra moisture to do so. I also keep regular paper towels and back when my daughter was a baby, we used reusable diapers and I still have those and I use them as reusable rags and they're just really great for cleaning things and especially doing so with something that I'm not super attached to, you know, cause it was a diaper. But all these things are fantastic for cleaning bowls, dishes, uh, poop off of pretty much any surface. So I keep these all around. Even here in my house, I have a bunch of nooks and crannies where I keep wet wipes and those are under the sink. I have them in a little nook in a cabinet. I have Kleenex out on display for that reason. And I have my paper towels. So I have these all, a combination of all of these things in easy to reach places that are always accessible, whether I'm traveling or I'm staying home or just working in my various bird care rooms. Number five is super cool. For those of you that have lots of birds, you know that they molt often. I'm always finding feathers everywhere every single day. <laughs> and then when it's molting season, you're getting a ton of feathers. So I actually keep these feathers and I either donate them to veterinary schools, which I've done before. Artists, there's various artists that like to make amazing creations with feathers. There's also a lot of tribes that like to use these types of feathers for celebration purposes. That's not the word I'm looking for, but I'm sure you guys will believe it in the comments <laughs> what I'm going for that I've been asked for. And then also fishermen. Some fishermen really enjoy specific feathers, especially from when I had my toucan. They like a specific type of feather for fly fishing. So it feels really good to be able to keep these feathers and utilize them for various donations. Lately, I've been able to donate feathers for imping procedures on other birds who have unfortunately or sadly been clipped and are looking for a new set of feathers. So it's been really, really amazing to give back in that way. So I highly encourage you to 
hang on to those feathers and get creative with who could use them. Number six is actually getting newspaper donated from schools. So where my daughter goes to school, they always give me a huge basket full of newspapers that have been given to them that they're then passing on to me. And I use them in our travel cages. And it's so nice not to have to buy paper to put in the bottom of those cages. So a really awesome hack is getting donated newspaper. Number seven and definitely one of my favorite hacks is having a bird dish designated dishwasher. We found a tiny one, but it's so perfect for all the bird dishes. We used to intermix the bird dishes with our dishes and it got really gross. My husband was constantly grossed out about it, especially because the pellet dust or sometimes their seasonal feeding mix would just really get on all of our other dishes and nothing would ever feel quite 100% clean. So having a bird designated dishwasher has made a huge world of difference for the care that I can provide for our birds. The other thing I like to throw in the bird designated dishwasher is their perches for cleaning. Now I don't have to use my dishwasher to get that accomplished, which feels really nice. So having a bird designated dishwasher, highly recommend. My eighth parrot owner hack is actually using those little metal toys for all of the toy parts that accumulate. Sometimes my birds might knock down a big chunk of toy where I feel like it could be wasteful to just throw that away. So I actually break it into multiple pieces and put it in these little reusable toys and am able to serve it to my birds again in a new way, which is really, really fun and feels like recycling of parrot toy parts. So anytime you can utilize little toys or something where you can restring them and reuse them or even convert them into a foot toy for your bird, definitely do it. It's a new form of stimulation and really great and engaging for the bird to see that toy in a different way. My ninth parrot owner hack is using feathers for Christmas ornaments or other keepsakes. This is something that we did one year that has stayed with us every single year and been so, so special. I actually did it over on Patreon, one of the first years that I ever led Patreon. I made these really beautiful ornaments with various feathers from my flock inside and they were so gorgeous. I should have kept more for myself. And then since then, Capri and I have done various art projects where we have Christmas ornaments that are around representation of our flock using their feathers which is super fun and every year it's really special because we have the whole year to forget that we even did it. You can also make a lot of custom jewelry from feathers and there's tons of people on Etsy that are quite skillful and I've actually messaged quite a few of them where you can mail them specific feathers to make their amazing creations out of. So another great reason to keep your birds feathers. Number 10 is butcher paper rolls. I get asked about this all the time. I personally use Uline and I get giant rolls of butcher paper and I had them made basically by some handy guys. <laughs> I had them put on custom racks where I can just pull the paper through and, and then cut off whatever I don't need. And it's really, really amazing. Butcher paper is stronger than newspaper and it's less absorbent. So everything kind of stays on top instead of getting mushy and ripping and being a total mess of a disaster. So these butcher paper rolls have made my life of cleaning up after my birds a lot simpler. And lastly, the 11th and last parrot owner hack is actually keeping target sticks, clickers, and treats in all of the easily accessible places in your house so that you're not running up and freaking your bird out by going and getting these things. I like to leave them in drawers in the kitchen because I'm often in the kitchen um, or on a little tabletop that I have in the living room. I have friends who have them almost on display around their house in various areas just having them around and easily accessible will make it so that every interaction is truly a training session and you can get yourself out of dodge if you really need to. If your bird's acting out or you find yourself getting bit and having a terrible interaction, you can grab a treat and get yourself out of that situation or maybe target your bird away from that situation. It just really comes in handy for being able to have a positive way to get yourself out of an otherwise not so positive interaction. So I hope you guys enjoyed my 11 parrot owner hacks. Let me know what your hacks are in the comments so that I can learn from you as well. And then tell me what your favorite hack has been from this list. And maybe you guys already do some of them too. I'm sure parrot owner to parrot owner, 
we totally have some of the same things. But everybody's situation is completely different, and so it's always nice to hear what other people do. I know that a lot of people have super cool hacks for keeping areas clean around their birdcage, so if you have those, share them. We all wanna learn from each other, and I'm sure that next year I could come up with a ton of totally different hacks that I maybe wasn't using this year. So we're always evolving. Leave all your ideas in the comments so that somebody who maybe has the same species of bird as you or lives a similar lifestyle can learn from what you guys do. And again, let me know which hack was your ultimate favorite hack. See you guys in the next video.